Okay, all right, so I want to grab all this data right here. And this is the, I'm in column G, this is the month data. In fact, you know, I'm going to copy everything. I even copy the word month. I'm going to go here to column M, and I'm going to paste that one, two, three by value. And I'm going to say get rid of the uh, duplicate data. So if I go back into the data section, you'll have to move your mouse until you find it. Data validation. Let me see here. Uh, looking for. No, that's not it. Okay, there it goes right there. Remove duplicate. Hit OK. If you're on a Mac, you'll have to find out where this is. It's a little different on each machine. So again, I can't help that. And I'm going to put here count okay and here I'm gonna also put here total total count oh sorry total count and this cell I'm in cell M15 now what I want to do is I want to count the to total number of transactions that we have so if I do equal count and remember if I do the count and I'm counting um, the rows, if I'm counting numbers, I can use count. So for example, if I try to count this cell right here and do close parentheses, notice that I'm getting a zero because count can only count numbers. In this case, I want to do a count A because I'm counting text or numbers, okay? so. This is working. So I, I know I have a total of 30 transactions. Or well, let's say 29, I should say. Let me see. Yep. Only 29 transactions in this case. Now what I want to happen is I want to count the number of September transactions that I have. Now notice I'm saying count the number of September transactions. When I did a count here, I'm counting everything. So let's do equal count okay and I'm sorry count if because I'm counting based on a criteria the criteria is based on the month so I'm going to highlight this information right here so it's saying from count G2 to G30 comma the criteria in this case is S S E P close parentheses hit enter and this is telling me I have three September transactions. If for some reason you don't see this, that means there's a spelling error somewhere, okay? So meaning that if I go here, and let's say I had a space in there, okay? Oh, not sorry, not a space in here. Let's say hypothetically this had a space in here somewhere. Hit enter. See how that's wrong now? Okay, I'll remove that space now, and there it goes. Or if I had a space in here by mistake, see and now that's zero because it's looking for September or sep with a space. So be careful when you're typing this. Okay, so right now we have our count if. 